Hey everybody, Hunter Fisher, Trapper Trader, Guide Scout and Interpreter, and just a country cook, Steve Hall, here in Nashville, Tennessee, along with Pretty Miss Sheila running that camera. Hi, Sheila. Hi. This recipe literally takes me back to my childhood. When we were little kids, my grandma lived in Iowa, and everybody would come over to grandma's house on the holidays, Thanksgiving, whatever, and kids were running everywhere, and all the halls were there, and all the groans were there, and all the Snyders, and all the McDonald's, and everybody piled in, and I don't know how on earth she got 65 people around a dining room table for all the dinners and stuff. But one thing she did all the time for all the kids is she'd make a big pot of hot dogs. That's right, this recipe is about hot dogs. Now you'd think that somebody that has a cooking show like us, 235 plus recipes from this day forward, would know how to cook hot dogs because grandma always had these big, chubby, fat, delicious hot dogs in that pot on the kitchen table, a bunch of buns, some ketchup and mustard, and she just let the kids tear into them. And I could never find them. I looked at meat shops. I looked in stores. I would find all kinds of different hot dogs, small ones, big ones, but none of them turned out like grandma's big, chubby, fat hot dogs that were so delicious. I know what she did now by mistake. Come on over, let's get started. I'm going to show you how to make Grandma Hall's hot dogs. Now this real experienced country cook here used to take hot dogs and put them in the microwave, throw them on a plate, and nuke them in there for three or four minutes and look how nasty and ugly they'd show up, but I'd still eat them. Or I'd put them in a pot and I'd boil them for a couple of minutes, get them nice and hot, and they would still come out kind of skinny like that, and they just didn't do the right thing. I thought, how did Grandma have those great big nice plump hot dogs like that. Let me show you what she did. I actually started with Jumbo Franks here because I do want them to be nice and big to start with and I got cold water here and I thought one day I will heat these up like I do hard boiled eggs where I start with a cold product, cold Franks and cold water. Then I'll turn it on high, bring it to a boil and I'll boil it for a couple of minutes like I normally did and I'll eat the same little skinny hot dogs that I always did. Let me get this fired up here. All right. But I went in the living room to watch NHRA and they were in the final rounds of Pro Stock and Funny Car and Top Fuel and I got so <laughs> enthralled watching the race that this sat on the counter or on the stove and it boiled for almost 10 minutes and when I came back in there was those great big huge fat hot dogs. Now here's the thing if you boil these for about six to seven minutes after it comes to a boil from cold water time it as soon as it starts boiling six minutes to seven minutes pull them out and they'll be nice. If you cook them any longer like nine to ten minutes they all split and pop open like this right here. Can you see that Sheila? because they pop open because they're cooking through to the middle. Believe it or not, in all the years that I've cooked hot dogs, I either ended up with microwavable little rubbery tubes or I only boiled them for a couple of minutes and they looked like this here. Now watch what happens to these hot dogs. Once this comes to a boil, we're going to boil them for six and a half to seven minutes, just short of popping open, and we're going to have grandma's hot dogs. Now, Again, you'd think somebody would know how to cook hot dogs, but I did it by mistake. Let's let this come to a boil, then we'll time it. See you in a bit. Okay, they just came to a boil. We're going to check our watch right now because in about six to seven minutes, there'll be nice big chubby hot dogs like this, like Grandma Hall made. And at ten minutes, they'll be split open like this if you let them cook a little too long. So keep a close eye on your watch, and we'll kind of pull them out of there with our little tongs and check them at six minutes. See you then. All right, it's been six minutes, and look what we have. Grandma's big, chubby hot dogs. Can you believe after 50 years of trying to cook a hot dog in the microwave or in a pot, I finally realized that if I cooked them four minutes longer, they would go from skinny to nice, big. Look at them, nice, big, chubby hot dogs that Grandma had at the house all the time, and I could never figure out where she was buying them. And by the way, I got mayonnaise on one side, mustard on the other side. Look at them. Man, they pop when you bite into them. That's what Grandma had sitting on the table. 
course, I'm going to add just a little bit of cheese on here. <laughs> a few extra little goodies, just a little sprinkle of cheese. Have to put on just a few little onions on there. And I will tell you one thing after I add the relish. I will tell you one thing. A long time ago, I seen a Clint Eastwood movie. And one of the detectives walked up and was eating a hot dog standing there on the beach at a crime scene. And he says, look at you. Clint Eastwood says, look at you stuffing your face. He says, and nobody, but nobody eats ketchup on a hot dog. <coughs> Sorry, I love ketchup on my hot dog. So I'm going to put ketchup on mine, whether Clint Eastwood likes it or not. Love his acting, but I don't care of his hot dog critique. Check it out. What do you think, Sheila? Yummy. Finally, there's Grandma's big chubby hot dogs. One other thing I want to show you. If you get hot dogs for kids that are under five, or even any kids, cut them lengthwise, and then I actually cut them lengthwise again, like this, and then I put them in a bun, and I actually kind of cut them in bite-sized pieces. Because nothing plugs up a kid's throat better than a hot dog. It's like a cork. You don't want one of your little kids choking. So cut it lengthwise, cut it into pieces. You can still pile all them pieces back together inside a bun, and then they can enjoy a hot dog. And whew, you won't have to sweat it out as grandma and grandpa when them kids are eating hot dogs. Just throwing that tip in there. But there you go. Isn't that wonderful? After all these years, man, it just looks great. This really brings me back to my childhood in Northwest Iowa. Grandma Hall's kitchen table. Man, don't nuke your hot dogs in the microwave till they just burn up. Or don't cook them so long that they split open like this. The magic is somewhere in the middle. Start out with cold water and cold hot dogs or wieners. Bring them to a boil. After they start boiling, six minutes to seven minutes max. Then they'll start to split on the end. Stop them right there. And you will have the most delicious <laughs> hot dogs in the world. Hold on a second. Mmm. Mmm. I'm going to get explicit. That's so nice and big and fat and juicy and chubby and pops in your mouth. Mm. That is the best hot dog on the planet. And for 50 years, if I would have just cooked them four more minutes, I would have had the hot dog that I tried to buy in a store because they all look skinny. That's because they are until you boil them for six minutes. Then they get nice, big, and round like that right there. Fantastic. I hope you enjoyed this recipe because I sure did. As soon as we turn the camera off, I'm going to polish off these hot dogs. And I hope you subscribe to our channel, by the way. Little Shotgun Ritz face will pop up over here in just a little bit. Click on it. When you see the word subscribe next to the word subscribe, please click on that bell and hit the highlight and save it. That way you'll be notified every time we come out with another recipe. We'll put a few of them over here. In fact, I think I might put our hot dog chili over here that's a real good chili that you can mix and put on top. It's got peppers and spices and stuff in it. And you want to top one of these Grandma Hall hot dogs with that? Oh, call the neighbors. It's absolutely fantastic. Is this the best Grandma Hall hot dog you ever ate? If it ain't, it ought to be. Well, this is Steve Hall in Nashville, Tennessee saying we'll see you next time right here on Cooking with Shotgun Red. Great job, Sheila. Thank you. Say goodnight, Sheila. Good night, Sheila. See you later. Bye-bye.